Simon Reid, welcome to the first German international strongman competition at Garmisch Partenkirchen. It's going to be hard, so let's get psyched up with the help of the Samoan Joe Onasai. Great stuff. Joe, one of the eight contestants here. This is the first ever German international organized by Germany's strongest ever man, Manfred Herbel. From Iceland, we've Magnus but Magnuson, seven times Icelandic champion, twice world champion, and twice second, the 94 world strongman champion. From Wales, we've Gary Taylor, 34 years old, the man who lifted 265.6 kilos last year, silver medalist in the Olympics in 1984. From Scotland, Forbes Cowan, 30 years old, a new face on the scene, Massively powerful, but is he strong enough in this field? From the States, Joe Onasai. We've heard from him, and now we'll see him, former American football player, descendant of the King of Samoa, a fantastic competitor. From Holland, the oldest competitor in the field, 39-year-old Ten Ted Van de Paar. Very big. Is he as strong as he looks? From South Africa, 28-year-old Wayne Price, who three years ago pulled a Boeing 747 over 20 meters. A world record, 101 tons. From Finland, Ilka Kinnunen, 30 years old, a big star in America, where he's in the American Gladiators and goes by the name of Barbarian. And from Germany, the youngest man in the field, just 27 years old, Heinz Olesch. And all this put together by the great Manfred Herbel, the man with the largest biceps in the world, 65 centimeters, and a multiple winner of the world's strongest man competition. Seven events, eight points for the winner of each event, down to one for eighth place. We start off with what they call the Hurricane. This is Ted van der Paarde from Holland, his encounter with the Hurricane. Wind speed of 135 k's against him. 50 kilograms of Pexi glass he's holding up a one meter by one meter four and a distance to go of 15 meters and that's an amazingly strong performance from Ted van der Poer. time limit of one minute he was comfortably inside at 25.61 seconds So that's the target for the other seven. But they're going to have to go some to beat that. And the rain teeming down here at Garmisch Partenkirchen, adding to the problems. Mighty difficult to get a grip. Next to go from Scotland, it's Forbes Cowan. And you can see he's really battling against this 130 kilometer an hour wind. hardly making any ground at all in fact just beginning to make backward steps so difficult to get a grip and Forbes Cowan comes to the end of his march having reached just 7.8 meters and decidedly unhappy with his performance so Ted van der Paar in the lead at the moment and now it's the South African Wayne Price and the rain has increased in power, so 
raindrops being hurled in his direction at the same speed. And as you can imagine, it gets more and more difficult as he gets nearer his target. Now he's got long spikes on his shoes, which is helping him a great deal. No problem at all. A mighty performance from Wayne Price. And he gets to the end in 22.25. Three and a half seconds quicker than Van der Parra. So a new target for the rest. And no wonder he looks delighted with himself. Ilka Kinunun. Time limit of one minute. As you can see, he made a lot of ground early on, but now really struggling. Just over the halfway mark. But the time he comes in, and that's the end of Kinnanen. And he's a judge to have made 9.7 meters, so a couple of meters more than Forbes Cowan. But still very disappointing indeed. So the Finn has to take a back seat now and watch the rest. But still Wayne Price is 22.25 that leads the last to go, Joe Onasai for the States. And just look at him make his move. Onasai slaughtering the time. And he gets to the end in a mighty impressive 14.80. Eight seconds faster than the rest. Onto the stones of strength. And first to go, Ted van der Paar. So Onasai, the leader, going into this second stage. Five stones. The first one weighs 95 with a barrel 1 meter 60. And as he goes on, the stones increase in weight, 10 kilograms a time. The barrels do become five centimeters lower. But the organizers are making it as difficult as they possibly can. You can see the rain absolutely hurling down. But the Dutchman doing really well. And finally getting it in the end. The fifth one, 135 kilograms. And lifting it 140. 46.60 was his time. And this is Gary Taylor having a very difficult time of it and finally giving way. Very slippery, very difficult to get a hold. And uh, Gary Taylor missing out here, only credited with four stones. If one falls off, it's the stones that count rather than the time. So here's the home choice, Heinz Olesch. And you can see he forsakes the wet shirt, bare-chested, and uh, bare strength as well. And in a competition like this, in this condition, in these conditions, you can see he's reveling in the support he's getting. And Olesch overtakes Ted van der Parle, 38.42, his time, eight seconds quicker than van der Parle. And he moves into the lead. Next to go is Magnus Vermagnussen, the favorite, seven consecutive years, the Icelandic strongest man. And twice winner of the world's strongest man.
So three down, onto the fourth. And he's picking them up as if they're marbles. Terrific stamina, enormous strength. And he's done it. 36.51. So he moves into the lead. And this is Wayne Price. Seeing if he can match up. But he's got problems with his back. And the back just seems to have seized up altogether. The heavy rain cooling down the muscles can't help. And he's really struggling. And that looks to be the end of Wayne Price. That's Olesh coming up and uh, giving him some support, moral, just as much as physical. And uh, I'm afraid he'll have to go off to hospital. Now, alongside the main competition, a sideshow. They call it Miss Cool. Who can keep their cool amongst the uh, local women here? We'll be following this through the next 50 minutes or so. Some outlandish tricks these competitors are forced to do with the, uh, the motive, a trip to the Bahamas. A test of daring. It's not power or speed that counts, just simply courage. And we start with this contest, they call it the truck dive, five meters high and very slippery. And they nearly dropped her. We'll be back with the big stuff the strongman competition right after this with the Bavarian Wall. The German International Strongest Man competition at Garmisch Partenkirchen. This is Magnus Ver Magnussen. And the Bavarian Wall, the trick is to grab hold of that barrel weighing 25 kilos, swing it once or twice between the legs and then throw it backwards over the head, over the wall which at the moment is at its uh, minimum height of four meters. It'll be extended to over five later on, but that's a good start there from Magnus Ver Magnussen. This is Ilka Kinunen. Well, he had the height, but not the direction. So uh, he's got three attempts. You can choose exactly at what height he comes in on. He chose the minimum. And he's got to get the trajectory right. So now the descendant from the Samoan royal family, Joe Onasai. No problem. Now Forbes Cowan from Scotland. And he's got the technique just right. So it's not just pure strength here. Timing important. And uh, Ilka Kinnanen, while the others wait, he's going to come in again. See if he can get it right now. Again, over the height of the wall, but didn't make it over the top. And uh, Kinnanen, you can see, is... Uh, getting increasingly frustrated so he's got one chance left
So this is the Netherlands' strongest man, Ted van der Parra. No, he went the other way. Plenty of force, but not the height. But the grip is obviously difficult. Joe on a side with his second throw. And he wants a towel to get some kind of grip. All these disciplines being uh, contracted into a four hour period. Yes, no problem. So, on a side, having a good start to this competition, the winner of the Hurricane event, remember? Heinz Olish. The wall now has been raised to five meters. No. So Heinz Olish has already uh, had 4.8 meters, but uh, short there at five. And uh, Ilka Kinnonen seems to have injured his arm. Something wrong with his bicep. Can have another go, but it looked pretty serious. And you can see uh, something's gone there. There's a tear in the bicep. And I'm afraid that is going to be the end of Ilka Kinnonen's attempt here at this German International Strongest Man competition. Desperately disappointing for him. So he goes out on the third of the seven events. Last attempt here from Ted van der Paare from the Netherlands. Can he get it right this time? No. He can't get it right, but uh, there's confirmation that Ilke has retired for medical aid. He'll be uh, getting treatment on that bicep which has been torn away from the bone. But uh, Manfred Herbel said in his opening speech to this competition that there are no winners, only survivors. In the end, it was Gary Taylor who won the competition on the Bavarian Wall. So he takes eight points. Ted van der Parra, second for South Africa. He takes seven, and Forbes Cowan of Scotland, third with six. Nine o'clock in the evening now, and time for the fourth discipline, the truck okay, race. Head to head. Joe Onasai and Heinz Olesch. Ready, steady, go, go, Bez go, Onasai. go, go. Heinz, yes, get hoch and schieb den Wagen, schieb den Wagen. Aber da is Joe like really struggling on the side and he's had to stop halfway along the 15 meter track but uh, Olesh carries on but he couldn't get the grip and on side having really pro really bad problems with his grip so Olesh carries on and he crosses the line in the end he's just short just short of a distance 15 meters he had to go but uh, just just short of a, a meter short of the final title 14.20 for Heinz Olesch but uh, a problem for Joe Onasai 
but he has lost his sense of humor. Second race between Forbes Cowan and uh, Ted Van der Parda. There's Forbes, and this is a really close race. In the end, Ted Van der Parda gets it by 0.22 of a second. Van der Parra 17.3, Forbes Cowan 17.52, but both pretty good. Gary Taylor there for Wales against Magnus Magnusson from Iceland. Magnussen very much the favorite here, but Taylor going well. Magnussen struggling. Very close indeed. And Taylor gets it. Taylor gets it by seven one hundredths of a second. That's the fastest time of all six competitors. Remember, Wayne Price has had to drop out. So too as Ilka Kinnanen. So only six competitors in this. But Gary Taylor takes it. He takes eight points. The Magnuson takes seven. Ted Van der Parra takes six. Now here is something completely different. Back to the uh, rather bizarre Miss Cool competition. And what the uh, contestants uh, subjecting themselves to here is going inside this weather balloon, which will be pumped right up to its limit until it blows to pieces and the, uh, the girls stay inside. Remember the one who survives right to the end and is willing to take on all these uh, gimmicks and gets that trip to the Bahamas. So the pumping process beginning. In fact, only one of the contestants threw her hands of art and decided that she'd had enough and she changed her mind. They all went through to a rather spectacular climax which looks like something out of the uh, Kubrick movie 2001. All the contestants survived through that, not as dramatic as you might have thought. We'll be back with the main competition after this. Hmm. More from the Miss Cool competition later on, I bet you can't wait. But now on to the uh, main event, the German international strongest man. And this is the Viking Rock, the fifth of seven disciplines. And this is Forbes Cowan dealing with uh, 90 kilograms of archaic rock. You can see how hard it is to get a grip and to handle it, particularly in these wet conditions. And Forbes gets it over his head, but the feet aren't planted. And the rock must be raised above the head with stretched arms and legs, with the feet planted and parallel. And it didn't happen there, and you can see he does seem to have a bit of a shoulder problem. Same problem that affected him in the truck race. So hopefully not another injury coming up because we've already had two. Wayne Price and uh, Ilka Kinnanen dropping out already. So it is show or 
So Joe on a side. Having his go. Every stone, of course, different, needs a different technique. And Joe getting the same sort of problems getting a grip here. But immensely strong. And straight away he's going to decide to have another go. He hasn't overdone his time limit. 30 seconds he has to lift the stone from once he picks it up to lifting it over his head. But you can see, really struggling to get a proper grip. And uh, a wry smile. Not often that he has to give second best. So Wayne Price has been to hospital for treatment to his back. He's now back to support his colleagues, but he won't be competing anymore. So here's Gary Taylor, former silver medalist, remember, in the Olympics, weightlifting very much his forte. Bending his chest to get support, and that's really easy. So Gary Taylor, very comfortable with the 90 kilo rock. Next to go, Forbes Cowan from Scotland. Forbes, remember, with the shoulder injury, and he, you can see rather nervously flexing it. His second try with this 90 kilo stone. Now this will be the test of the shoulder. And it doesn't look on. So game. But if it wasn't going up the first time, it's hardly going to go up the second. No. And uh, Forbes saying that the shoulder is really causing him a problem. So he retires from the Viking Rock, not from the competition overall though, still two events to go, the Ring of Fire which we're to see and then the car race. So you probably heard that Joe Onasai, next on he's going to go for 100 kilos. Hundred kilos, and he's treating it rather like a bit of soap. And that looked better. Now again, slipping away, just when he looked to have some kind of purchase on it. So frustrating for him. The rain's become heavier and heavier. It's around 10 o'clock at night now. Wayne Price giving him some advice as to how to do it. And the... Uh, Spectators having some punch to keep their spirits alive. So it's Ted van der Parra. So close, but not fully outstretched. And he knows he's going to have another go. Must be steady, he's told. Now already, Manfred Herbel's been on to say to the competitors that if you don't want to carry on, we understand, because it is dangerous. If this, these rocks slip, anything could happen.
And the power giving it absolutely everything. But he's not getting it up. And it very nearly did him great damage. Manfred Herbel coming in there, you can see. And once again asking competitors, do you want to carry on? Because he doesn't think it should happen. But the competitors are all of one here. They want to continue. Next to go for Germany, the local hero, Heinz Olesch. This with a hundred kilos. Well, it looked like he might have got it. And then it slipped away from him. Now here's Magnus Ver Magnussen coming in at 100. Again bends back to get better balance and look at that. No problem at all for the Icelander who's now moving ahead in this competition overall. So the new mark then set by Ver Magnussen and the other's going to have to stay with him otherwise he's going to shortly move into an unassailable lead in this overall competition. Here's Ted van der Parra lying in third place at the moment. Two meters twenty high so he's got further to lift it. Got so close before. Can he get it up a second time? Yes, he can. And that's a formidable lift from the Dutchman Ted van der Barre. Finalist in the world, strongest man last year. Losing out to uh, Magnussen. So I hope for the others, including here, Heinz Olesch. His last try now. 100 kilos. Yes, he gets it. Must have been marginal, but the judges are giving it. Gary Taylor, singly unimpressed, he's going to go up from 100 to 120 kilos. The Germans, meanwhile, celebrating that really plucky effort from Olish, who looked to be in trouble before. So he's going to be very near a medal overall. Guaranteed now at least third place in this Viking rock competition. Number two events still to come. Here's Gary Taylor now with the weight up to 120. Effortless. Taylor recently the winner in the uh, strongest man competition in Lithuania, the Grand Prix there. And no difficulty at 120. Now Taylor's saying he's not going to go any further, but uh, here's a guy who is Magnus Ver Magnussen going for 135. Unbelievable. Taylor's not going on, but Mo Magnussen, that was his 120 kilo lift, and shortly he was to move it up to 135 to take 125 to take maximum points in this Viking rock competition.
We'll be back with more from Garmisch Partenkirchen right after this. Now then, uh, a first for Eurosport, the uh, last discipline in Miss Cool. Local competitors here from Garmisch Partenkirchen. And these are the survivors who made it through. They have to pull that tire, weighing around 20 kilos. Then over that beam. And then they have to open this basket. And what's inside? Exactly. Live snakes. And she seems completely unfazed by it. Amazing. And before you get carried away thinking all the girls from uh, Garmisch-Partenkirchen are all mad, all the Bavarians here, I can tell you that uh, 
There is a formidable prize, this uh, trip to the Bahamas to see the world's strongest man competition next year. But this girl doesn't look too impressed. They're not told what's inside the basket before they start. So it is surprise as well as complete fear. And you can see she is not happy about carrying on. And that's something that's going to stay with her for a few nights. Whoever thought this up has a really warped sense of humor. The girl's not told about any of the uh, disciplines before they started. And the reaction when they open the basket. Sight the sore eyes. Der stärkste Männer der Welt. Ich sagte ja schon mal, es wird ein Punkt dabei sein bei diesem dritten Wettbewerb, der nicht ganz so einfach zu bewerkstelligen ist wie die ersten beiden. Es wird also wirklich spannend. And of course, as the uh, night draws on and the rain makes it more and more difficult, tar becoming increasingly heavy. Sollte ihr davon abstürzen, müsst ihr zum Schwebebalken zurück und nochmal anfangen. Die Zeit läuft natürlich weiter. Full of fortitude so far, but what about this? Well, she opened the basket and reacted as if she trains these things. Is that clear? We would like to have this competition on both sides, but for this is only here. This is the first event where there is timing. And here's the girl who eventually won the competition, Heike Schöneger. And again, no real sense of surprise, and she takes it. Is the Miss Cool 95 here in Garmisch? So Heike Schöneger, yeah, congratulated by Manfred Herbel, and she'll be off to watch Herbel and his mates in the world's strongest man next year. And she deserves it after all that. Ready, steady. Now then, the final event in the German International Strongest Man, the car race, head to head, Forbes Cowan. Up against Joe Onasai. And uh, Joe, a convincing winner. Wins by a couple of seconds. 13.15 is the benchmark. Against Cowan's 15.32. So Joe Onasai forming himself right back into contention. Ready, steady, go! Out now Gary Taylor in the blue car against Magnus Ver Magnussen, the leader going into this final competition. And Ver Magnussen getting through by a second. So a new best time, that's 11.54 set by Ver Magnussen. Taylor second, 12.95. And that more or less wraps it up for Magnussen. The others can't overhaul him. And Ver Magnussen is going to take the German international title. Neue Rekordzeit 11:54. Damit gewinnt er diesen Bewerb und man kann schon inoffiziell sagen, dass er den Bewerb gewonnen hat. So the end of a massive night's work for this incredible Hulk from Iceland, Magnus Ver Magnusson. But it's still not over. Chance here for Heinz Olesch against Ted van der Parra. Van der Parra in the green car there against Heinz Olesch. Olesch needs to win here.
to take third place. It's already sure that the Magnus is going to take gold and uh, Taylor silver. But Van der Barre having uh, real problems here. Not so Olesh. And Van der Parra looks uh, badly injured here. And the uh, an abrupt end to his night's work. And Heinz Olesh gets the win and a time of 13.10, which takes him into third place. And he indeed does take the bronze medal here in this German international. The Zeit from Heinz, 18.63. 18, and uh, Van der desperately disappointed. Started so well, but he's going to have to be content with joint fourth place here. With Joe on the side. And gingerly getting out of that car. So four hours of pouring sweat and pouring rain as well. And the winner from Iceland. But then chance now to catch up on all the placings. Eighth place goes to Finland's Ilka Kinnanen, the American gladiator, the Bavarian. But he had to uh, drop out after the third event, the Bavarian War, with his bicep problem. Desperately disappointing time for Wayne Price from South Africa. Only seventh. Had to retire after the uh, Stones of Strength with his back problem. One of the favorites here. And the man who everyone thought would give Magnus for Magnuson the biggest run for his money. The man who hauled a Boeing 747, a distance of 20 meters. No sixth place, joint fifth with 31 points. Forbes, Cowan and Ted van der Parra. And Cowan, you can see, not uh, particularly satisfied with joint fifth. Ted van der Parra, the oldest man on the field, 39 years old, hasn't done bad at all. Fourth place to Joe Onasai. 33 points. Former American football player, sumo wrestler. And you can see, taking it all in. Very impressive tattoos, said to have been made publicly in the uh, marketplace back home. Where they used wild boar's claws. Third place, and isn't he delighted? Bowman, Reinz Olesch, the youngest of us all. 27 years old. And at the peak of his form here, a dream come true. And you can see, thrilled to have beaten some of the strongest men. Second place for Gary Taylor from Wales, 34 years old. A massive physique and uh, a very fine evening's work. Instructor for power sports in his spare time. Some of his pupils are prisoners in Wandsworth Prison in London. And I don't suppose that they cause any problems at all. And a big hit with the ladies too. And the winner, Magnus Ver Magnuson. Four points clear of everyone else. And continues his 
Tremendous record. Seven times Icelandic champion, twice world champion. And he receives a trophy from Manfred Herbal. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed the program. For now, from me, Simon Reid, goodbye. Almost 20 years ago, 